The world population is 7.75 billion people. 41.6% are unreached. That means that 3.25 billion people, or almost three times the population of Africa, have not heard the name of Jesus. Welcome. In this video, we want to share with you tips on how you can share your testimony in three minutes or less. Why is it important to share your testimony? In 2 Timothy 1 verse 8, Paul tells Timothy to not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord Jesus. And in Revelation 12 verse 11, John saw that the devil was overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimonies. As a Christian, sharing your testimony is very important. It encourages other believers around you. It builds faith and it gives hope. And most importantly, the purpose of sharing our testimonies is to bring honor to God. We will be sharing six ways how you can put your testimony together so that you can share it with your friends and family, or even strangers, coworkers, anybody in less than three minutes. Step one, give a one sentence summary. You know, something like, this is my story of how God saved me from addiction. Step two, you wanna grab the attention of the person that you're talking to. Like in the beginning of this video, so give them one question or a statistic or just one sentence that will grab their attention. Step three, this is your life BC. So for the next one minute, briefly describe what your life was like before surrendering to Christ. Think of a specific incident. Who, what, where, why. Step four, connect your two stories of before you met Christ and after you met Christ on how God changed your life. Step number five, for the next minute, just briefly explain what your life has been like after Christ has transformed your life. Again, think of a specific incident, like who, what, where, and when. And finally, step number six, the takeaway. You wanna leave a brief sentence that gives an invitation for somebody to become a believer, or a challenge, or just encourage them to engage further. We hope that this message was helpful to you. And as you just heard, at the end of your testimony, there should be some form of action. And we wanna challenge you. Write down your testimony and share it with at least one person during this week. If you feel comfortable, send us a picture. We would love to see how the positive Word of God is shared through your testimony. We hope that you have a blessed week and enjoy this time of sharing your testimony. Remember to connect with us on Facebook and YouTube for Sunday service. God bless.